Okay, for the first stage and before we continue, uh, renders are about detail and are about a lot of patience. So, uh, how do we achieve a high degree of detail in our models? First of all, we have to look for nice components. Lots of people in the forum uh, show their renders and they say, hey, how can I improve my renders? But the truth is that they don't even have their models finished or they just go to the warehouse and download it like the ugliest and simple table they can find and they say hey, how do I make my renders more realistic well the thing there is that there is not such an ugly table in real life and therefore well your render is not gonna be uh, never realistic enough so if you're gonna download your models from the warehouse uh, look for nice components because lots of people uh, the lo lots of people upload their models here and they work with c conceptual visualizations and we're trying to achieve a realistic um, visualization so I would recommend you to look for nice components at the warehouse because there are a lot of nice components but you have to take your time to look for them so I download uh, most of my models from this site which is archive3d.net um, it has uh, plenty of components uh, you're basically gonna be able to find anything you want here and they are uh, pretty high polygon they have a lot of quality and they come all of them in a 3 ds format so everything you have to do is you have to go to file import and change this to import a 3 ds file okay uh, another thing uh, for example uh, I worked uh, I made this uh, metal columns and I applied a chamfer to it and I also modeled the floor instead of just uh, applying a bump or a displacement map because this way it is easier for me to, to control uh, the material I just have to add a reflective layer and it I don't have to worry about how long my render times will be uh, because of the displacement so as you can see I have pretty nice components uh, especially this lamp uh, it's pretty high polygon it looks uh, I think it looks great in the final render uh, these little holes there I mean they they look terrific so uh, what else can we can say okay let's get started with the world mission uh, first thing I want to do is I want to uh, turn all of my layers off because I want to show you how to control the sun system and when we turn the shadow sun um, it's harder to navigate uh, here at a SketchUp so uh, shadows uh, are controlled uh, uh, simply by the shadows uh, in the SketchUp okay first thing I want to do is I want to go to model info go to location and change uh, well of course location to the city uh, in which I am right now which is uh, here in Mexico I'm gonna go to Tampico. Okay. I'm gonna hit a uh, render for the first time. I just want to show you how uh, this can be changed. I'm gonna change this so you can uh, actually uh, notice that uh, my shadows here in in SketchUp are the same. Are just the same as in very first SketchUp. So I'm going to hit the render button for the first time. Uh, I'm using default settings. Uh, the only thing I've changed is the output um, and I'm going to go to the global switches and I'm going to override materials because I already applied some of the materials and I'm going to talk about it a little later. Uh, before I uh, pause the video I want to say that I'm using Camtasia Studio. It was uh, Mr. Fernando Rentas, the one who recommended it. So if you guys uh, want to make a uh, video tutorial, well, I'm pretty sure it will help a lot of us. So uh, let's wait for the... Uh, okay, uh, render is about to finish. And as you can see, uh, shadows uh, did change in B-Ray for SketchUp. Uh, I'm going to move on with illumination and uh, please uh, I want you to, to know that there is one new tutorial um, that Fernando Rentas made about illumination and he explained all the sun system, sun size, turbidity, all those things please look for it I'm sure it'll help, it'll help you a lot so I'm gonna change this and I'm gonna show you uh, which background I'm intending to use and 
uh, one thing that you have to notice is well I always try to look for the shadows and I try to make them match with my with my model I don't see any sun uh, here in front in my sky so I shouldn't have these shadows so for now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to model model info and change this uh, up to 170 so my son is behind my scene or at the right side of my uh, scene and therefore I will not have any shadows and uh, it will not be weird so um, how do we control the illumination um, well illumination is like uh, too easy uh, we control them uh, we can control it by using a artificial lights uh, with the southern system and by the physical camera in this case I'm not going to use any uh, artificial lights which are omni lights or rectangular lights um, because I don't want to confuse you guys but there's a lot of information about that I'm just gonna play with the physical camera uh, okay physical camera works like this you just have to know uh, these three values which is sort shutter speed f number and the film is film speed okay uh, I always make this, uh, I always set these values uh, with every new scene. Uh, lots of people in the forum, uh, they al they're always like waiting for a better bishop or something like that. But you don't have to wait for a bishop, you just have to understand how these things work. Because a nice bishop uh, for one of my scenes is not going to be a, a good bishop for one of your scenes because we're in different places of the world and. Uh, well, models are just not going to be uh, the same, okay? So, you just have to know this. If we make the shutter speed uh, value uh, smaller, I'm going to go to 100, for example, and we make uh, this uh, film speed value uh, larger, for example, I'm going to go to 400, uh, the scene is going to be brighter. I mean, you don't have to move both of them, you just have to move you can just move one of them what I want you to understand if is, is that if you increase this value your scene will be brighter if you decrease this value your scene will be brighter if you decrease this value which was in previous uh, versions set up to uh, 11 uh, your scene uh, will be brighter also uh, 